Hey guys, it's Nim, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this peas in a pod necklace. I was supposed to upload this video on Tuesday, but I'm really behind editing these days, so I'm really sorry. I started by rolling out three equal balls of green clay. I did mix some translucent in it. Then I rolled out a darker green color of clay, and I'm just putting the three little peas on top of it. Next, I'm taking my blade and I'm cutting a rectangle around it. Then you want to go and wrap your darker green color of clay around the little three peas that you made. You may need to trim off the edges a bit just to make it more of a pea-like shape, if that makes any sense. Um, so go ahead and cut that and make sure that you smooth it all out. I already put the eyes for the other two peas, so I'm showing you how I did the last one. I basically made little uh, balls of black polymer clay, placed them, and then I pressed them to flatten it all down. So that's the eyes. Then I went ahead and I made a little bow with red polymer clay and I didn't show this in the video because it was really hard to make and I was not able to film it but basically I made two little triangles, put them together and that was the bow. Then I went ahead and I'm inserting my eye pins inside each side. You can't talk anymore. Um, so yeah, you want to let it bake in the oven and once it has cooled down, you can go ahead and draw the expressions. So I did two smiley faces and one with a mustache, but you can do pretty much whatever you want. Now I'm taking a light pink color of acrylic paint and I'm making dots for the blush. I'm putting a bit of glue on the bow and then I'm just placing a silver rhinestone on top. Finally, you can go ahead and glaze your charm. To make it into a necklace, I first put a jump ring on each side and then I just attached my chain. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I will talk to you guys very soon.